I'm Forrest Saunders standing in the Emergency Operations Center here in Tallahassee. And that is, of course, because of all the severe weather that swept across the state on Tuesday, overshadowing the state of the state address from Governor Ron DeSantis. State officials say at least four tornadoes touched down across the Panhandle Tuesday. The storms soaking and smashing Florida in places like the Grand Lagoon of Panama City Beach, flipping boats, decimating homes, and blasting out buildings. At about 40 uh, structures that are destroyed, uh, there's been five uh, individuals taken to local hospitals with various injuries, lacerations, head trauma, but no fatalities. In Mariana, more devastation, some buildings obliterated, debris everywhere. The storms then closed in on the state capitol in Tallahassee as tornado warnings sounded in the middle of speeches, lawmakers gaveling in for the next legislative session. Just watch the top of the rotunda. <laughs> yeah, we're just under a warning. Morning. Okay. We're just under a warning right now until 11 15, so we're good. We're right. good everybody. If we need to scatter, the sergeant's going to let us know. Let the governor be received. The governor then delivered his state of the state address, starting by announcing this emergency declaration for 49 counties across the Sunshine State. We respond when these things happen. So those folks who have been impacted, just know the state of Florida stands with you and we'll handle uh, whatever fallout is from these dangerous tornadoes. And immediately after, Governor Ron DeSantis held an emergency press conference at the state EOC. Well, good afternoon. He urged Floridians to heed warnings and declined to take questions before heading back to the 2024 presidential campaign trail. Um, Kevin's going to remain here for, for any questions on, on the events. Thanks. Governor, are you Governor, what's the status of your account? campaign with it? DEM Director Kevin Guthrie said counties had reported numerous minor injuries, but as of Tuesday afternoon, no fatalities. He estimated tornadoes might have been as strong as an EF3 in some places, Weather officials will now work to confirm. Floridians, meanwhile, working to recover. Now here at the EOC, officials are at the highest state of alert, and that will continue until these storms move out of the area and recovery begins. That's the latest out here at the state of EOC. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.